virtue of the authority vested in me, I constitute this a congregation of Rhodes University. Our Chancellor, the Honorable Justice Lexham Party, proud parents, guardians, siblings and friends of our graduates, and most important of all, our graduates. On behalf of our Chancellor, the University Council, our Board of Governors, and the entire Rhodes University community, I offer our warmest and proud congratulations to each one of you, our graduates, on your graduation today. Our heartfelt congratulations extend to your family, friends, guardians, and all those whose loving sacrifices, constant encouragement, and unstinting support have sustained you throughout your years of postgraduate study at Rhodes University. The attainment of a Rhodes University qualification is an exacting proposition in the best of times. And to end one, while negotiating a safe and productive coexistence with a menacing and ever-present deadly virus, must have taken something truly special. In the face of uncertainty, fear and anxiety brought about by the pandemic, you have shown remarkable resilience, tenacity, adaptability, grit, and can-do attitude. Some of you lost your loved ones. Others had to spend days and even longer in isolation and quarantine. In the face of all this trauma, adversity, and hardship, you have shown enormous courage and unyielding determination. It has been hard. You have endured and you have overcome. You are that much the wiser for the experience. And what each one of you has achieved is truly exceptional. Hearty congratulations and do take a bow. Our university community is immensely proud of your stellar accomplishments. We acknowledge with much appreciation the contribution of your dissertation and thesis supervisors in guiding you, in mentoring you, and in supporting you to get to this exhilarating moment of your personal triumph. Your graduation today is their just reward. The pandemic has sadly robbed us of an opportunity to celebrate your fine achievements with you in the conventional way we have always done in the past. This, however, does not in any way diminish the value and the significance of this important milestone in your academic pursuits. We also offer our warmest congratulations to the two recipients of the university's highest honor, the honorary degree. We honor, we salute, and we commend Professor Salim Abdul Karim and Mr. Tolokhrod Bo for their outstanding contribution and dedicated service to our nation and humanity. As mentioned earlier, we are living through unprecedented times. Many people have lost their lives, many have lost their livelihoods, and even more have lost hope. Our nation looks to you, graduates of this great university, to assure us that things will be fine again. My hope is that you'll place your knowledge, special skills, and talents at the service of our society and humanity as we rebuild our devastated lives, our destroyed economies, and our shattered dreams and hopes. Wherever you find yourself, 
may you be a beacon of hope and a source of optimism for a better tomorrow. Wherever you find yourself, may your light shine before others and dispel the darkness of ignorance, doubt, fear, prejudice, greed, selfishness, pessimism, and indifference towards others. You have so much to offer our ravaged society and our broken world. Never for a moment doubt your capacity to make a positive change in our society and beyond. You now have an opportunity to define and shape the post-pandemic future that is better, a better society and a better world. A world that should acknowledge our common humanity. A world that should acknowledge that pandemics respect no political or geographical boundaries. A world that should recognize how interdependent we all are and that the safety and well-being of one person is inextricably bound up with the safety and well-being of others. A world that should recognize that our own humanity can only reach its fullness if we affirm, defend, and advance the humanity of others. In all that you do, may you always be guided by our values of social justice, empathy, kindness, integrity, honesty, compassion, civility, and human solidarity. Go out there and make your mark. Today, however, is your special day to cherish and remember. Wherever you are, take a moment to celebrate your impressive achievements with those dear to you. May you always cherish your university experience and the privilege of an excellent education you have received from one of the premier institutions of higher learning in the world. We wish you much success, happiness, and fulfillment in the years ahead. We know that you will play your part in making this world a better place for us all as you brighten the corner wherever you are. Mazaldov. Asante sana, Ziko Mokwambiri, Datenda, thank you very much. Inkom, Inkosi, Spiceba, Kialiboha, Giabonga, Phil and Dunk, Mesubugu, Norivua Namanda, Kialiboa. Shukran, tante grazia, nyatogoza, baya danki, obrigado. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you the candidates whose names appear in the program for the conferral of masters and PhD degrees. I confer degrees on all those candidates named in the program who are in absentia. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Ms. Nakolo Grootboom for the conferral of her honorary degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer the degree of Doctor of Letters honoris causa on Ms. Nakolo Grootboom university Ukuchabalala kwa mapupa, 
kukuvumbuluka kwe temba. Ya ye kukuvumbuluka kwe temba, sisi alo se pupa elicha. Na mshanje, ndiziva ni umseke lo pila yo umlise la nukutinjana, wukuba umsebenzi lili kanogo, umsebenzi. Uya budeti sa kubumnyama uvelu kukanya. Tibaba nazbe ili mzi wa se robes, kukundifaka yu kanye, ukwanda kwa liwa mumtagati. Kwa kukwela mzontundu, nda kubendi ilo zile, kandi na tombozi kuluimi lwa mlue nkobe. Kubandi kwe li konga na mshanje, kunge nka yesu kosa. Kungoko, kandi teta nge sisi kosa ndini, sako wetu, nji siti. Kukula, ela ndi kupa enda leni, lando nda lela itafili. Kukula, ela ndi vutulula ubu miyama, landi vatisa ukukanya. Kukula, elati ndili hilo lengoma, la hila kumu ubu kiko mokteta. Kukula, elandi shamba intanda buso, da intando kazi yesizwe. Kukula, mnanawe kunengu waba alina babu kuti, kubana mati kwa ya kusmanga njenga mawele, sendomba tiswe umshaba, owa ndi mulu manisa nao. Kukula, na mshanje, neji University ya Sir Rhodes, ia kufuma, ukukupila kwa bafuna ukupila. Ia kubakendoza kuti haindi, ukubandi nukulishia elikonga, tinga waposana laona amazwi. Anipuma mlo msitu, nisie makaya, nyombega makana. Nanga nika lala, nombe tengu boye mfisiswano, kukono, no tando. Dimitanda no mge makaya. Mr. Chancellor, I present to you Professor Salim Abdul Karim for the conferral of his honorary degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa on Professor Salim Abdul Karim. This is Salim Abdul Karim. I'm the director of Caprisa and professor of global health at Columbia University and adjunct professor of immunology and infectious diseases at Harvard University. I started my research career in a studying a viral disease called hepatitis B. Very quickly, I got excited by its challenges and I started going into the community to understand how this disease was spread. I spent time collecting mosquitoes. I spent time sitting with uh, traditional healers, watching their scarification and trying to understand whether any of that was spreading hepatitis B. But my passion for viruses grew. I subsequently studied epidemics of measles. I went on to understanding polio and then more recently, I have focused my efforts on HIV and in the last few uh, months on COVID-19. There comes a time in every academic's life when you recognize the importance of science that goes beyond the individual discovery where you understand that science is a mode of thinking. Science, it becomes a way of life. In my life, I've had many opportunities to grow in the midst of science, in the number of mentors that I have had, the number of opportunities of collaborators and peers that I have had. But in all of that, today's honor is a singularly important one to me. For many years, I have looked in awe at the achievements of Rhodes University. I have seen what you have tried to accomplish and have sat in marvel. Today, I have the opportunity of being with you and receiving this honor. As I think about this progression in my life and how is it I've come to be here with you today, 
I have learned that there have been three important things. The first is that you really need to persevere in science. There will be many obstacles that will face you every day. You will find failure, you will find challenge. Perseverance is what will enable you to succeed. The second is that you will always be pushed from pillar to post. People want you to do this, you'll have ideas that will take you in this direction and that. I have learned the importance of staying with the truth. Stay with your question. I have been studying one question for almost 30 years. And that's the question of why is it that young women have such a high risk of HIV? 30 years later, I'm still studying the same question. Stay focused and stay with the truth. Don't get waylaid. And then finally, as you look in your life, as you enter today's world as graduates, find your passion, find your niche, find something that grabs you and speaks to you because as you come across obstacles, your passion, your commitment is what's going to help you overcome those. Dear graduates, graduation day marks a very special moment in one's life. It marks an important milestone in your lives, in the lives of your families, professors, and communities. Today we celebrate your hard work and achievement. We congratulate you for your resilience, conviction, and tenacity, for having a winner's attitude we thank you all for staying resolute in your journeys and dreams. We thank you for not giving up when life seemed hard, when COVID-19 threatened your lives and studies. As you celebrate this special achievement, remember that we need your contribution in making our country a better place a place read of the many social ills, abuse and senseless killings of women and children, COVID-19 and other deadly diseases, corruption, poverty, oppression of the weak and vulnerable, hatred and the likes. You have the power to make a difference. Please know that your success is our success. You have made us all very proud. You have made Rhodes University proud. Congratulations. Dear graduates, parents, guardians, and friends, and colleagues, the special postgraduate graduation ceremony highlights the research-led nature of our university. We are a scholarly space with a reputation for not only disseminating and applying knowledge, but also for creating new knowledge for the benefit of society and the natural world. The achievements of our postgraduates contribute much to our scholarly reputation. And as we congratulate you today for your personal accomplishment, we also acknowledge and thank you for the intellectual contribution you have made to our institution and to the greater public good. We also congratulate your family members, your supervisors and lecturers, the technical and administrative staff, and the scholarship funders and all others who have supported you in this graduation achievement. We look forward to the day when the COVID-19 pandemic has receded and we can join together with you and your family and friends back on our campus to celebrate in person your accomplishments that we are celebrating virtually today. But for now, warm congratulations. Greetings to our masters and PhD graduates. It is my pleasure to extend to you warm congratulations on this very special achievement as Registrar of Rhodes University. Your accomplishment is admirable 
and more so in the COVID-19 pandemic. Wherever you are, may you be surrounded by loved ones. Take a moment to breathe in your success. You deserve it. Well done. Madume to the Chancellor, the Vice-Chancellor, DVCs, Deans and all protocol observed to our graduates. Lina Laga Kilabukhang Madi Khoshin Kambule and I'm the Rhodes University SRC President. A huge congratulations to all our MA and PhD graduates. This is a huge accomplishment. It requires a tremendous amount of hard work, dedication and perseverance and it has truly paid off. I wish you all the best of luck on your future endeavors in entering this new chapter of your lives. Do spread your wings of the reimagination as graduates during a COVID-19 context. The institution prides itself in your achievements and accomplishments, and we look forward to having our fellow leaders going out into the world and being the change that they want to see. Thank you. Dear graduates, parents and friends, it's with great honor that I stand virtually before you today to celebrate your achievements during these extraordinary times. It's your hard work that has brought you to the finish line of your studies. I know this has been a big day and I know that you will enjoy and remember it. I also want to congratulate your parents and families for their support. I want to say to you today, do not stop learning. Pay attention to the meaning of your research work. You have realized how fragile normality is, that in the blink of an eye, the whole world can turn around. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm wishing you every success in this new chapter of your life. Postgraduate studies rank as simply superb experiences Narrowed down to a single discipline and topic of one's passion, what more could make the intellectual sunshine brighter? Unsurprisingly, the journey from research proposal to final thesis copy is tough and unforgiving. And so it should be. But all that's over and you're now a proud postgraduate of the faculty and of Rhodes University. The hours you spend theorizing concepts, collecting data, analyzing the results and finally drawing valid conclusions has been enormously worthwhile. Your thesis was accepted and the degree awarded. Many, many congratulations from an equally proud Dean. All that remains is for me to issue one final request, that you go celebrate with your family and friends and celebrate contentedly and with the broadest of smile. Dear graduates, on behalf of the entire education faculty, congratulations on your qualification. Many people have contributed to this journey of yours, but at the end of the day, you are the one who made it happen. Now on the road ahead, there'll be opportunities to apply what you've learned during your time here at Rhodes. I want you to take those opportunities with both hands, make the world a better place. Congratulations to all the law graduates, to your parents, to your guardians, and to your supporters. Today, you've earned the fruits of your resilience, your hard work. For many of you I know, it has been an incredible journey with many challenges, disappointments, and sometimes even doubt. You persevered the stinging comments from your supervisors, the meager resources for survival, and the sheer loneliness that postgraduate studies often bring. I can assure you that the experience and the results of it all will perhaps be the most defining thing in your career as a lawyer, as an academic, or as a community leader. Please make it count. Please go out there and make a difference in the world. And remember, always be yourself be humble, work hard, and be kind, and all the good things will come to you. Congratulations once again. It is time for you to go out there and celebrate. Thank you. Graduates, parents, 
grandparents, guardians, and other loved ones. Welcome to Rhodes University's October virtual graduation. I'm Professor Tony Booth, the Dean of the Faculty of Science. As a Dean, this is my favorite time of the year because we can all get together to celebrate a journey that has started for some and a journey that has ended for others. This is a journey of higher education. I wish to congratulate all my science graduates who have worked so hard over the past few years. It's been a difficult journey that you've made during very difficult times, but you've made it. Congratulations. I also want to specifically thank the mums, the dads, the grandparents and the guardians who provided support throughout this journey. Your contributions, which often come at a great cost, cannot be appreciated enough. And to conclude, remember that all roads lead to roads. Graduation is the culmination of a long journey of hard work that you have put over the years. With a well-earned degree from Rhodes University, you are more than equipped to think critically, to innovate, and to provide solutions to a world that is waiting for you out there. So, on behalf of the Faculty of Humanities, I send my heartfelt congratulations to you all. Thank you.
By virtue of the authority vested in me, I dissolved this congregation of Rhodes University.